Hi everyone, I'm Sang Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to do single factor experiments in a completely randomized design. We typically call it ANOVA, which is the abbreviation of analysis of variance. So I guess the name of this analysis makes people misunderstand the purpose of this analysis. This analysis is to know whether there are mean differences among treatments. Having said that, in order to clearly understand this analysis, I would rather call it analysis of variance of the mean. Anyway, I will show you how to do this analysis by Excel built-in function, R program, and manual computation. Please click like and subscribe after watching this video if it was useful for you. Let's find out the way together. I have prepared 24 samples. There are four treatments in this data. Some people call treatments as a group. It fully depends on your industry. Again, there are four distinctive treatments from one to four. And in each treatment, there are six replications. Response variable data, which is dependent variable, is what we have measured under each treatment. The purpose of this analysis is to test whether all treatments have same average or not by statistical analysis standpoint. In order to analyze this data by Excel add-in tools, you need to change this data form like this. Each column represents treatments, each row represents replication. Please click Data tab. And on the right side, please click Data Analysis. And you can see ANOVA single factor. So click this one. For input range, choose this, this cells. And the first row is actually treatment name. So click labels in first row. And we want to see the output in this spreadsheet. So select one cell here and click OK. Right, this is the analysis output. So look at the p-value, which is uh, lower than 5%. So we can interpret uh, this result uh, as there's at least one treatment mean is different from others. In R, we can use this data form. So once you read this data by using read.csv, and uh, we can analyze this data by AOV function. And under AOV, response as Y variable and tilde and uh, treatment as independent variable. But as you can see, we coded data 1, 2, 3, 4. So we need to uh, define it as factor variable, categorical variable. So I used the factor function. So uh, AOV response tilde factor of treatments makes uh, output. So by using summary function, we can see ANOVA analysis table, which is same as Excel uh, output. So let's move on to uh, manual computation parts. I will show you how to get these figures manually. Right, let's get the output manually. So first of all, we need to calculate mean of each treatment and grand mean. So we can use uh, average if function, average if uh, range uh, here, and press F4, and comma select criteria here, and comma, and average range from response data, and press F4. For grand mean, we can use average function. All right. Uh, this is the uh, formula for uh, this uh, analysis. So uh, TSS means total sum of square, and also uh, SSE means sum of square of error. So uh, TSS, uh, there is YIJ minus Y bar square. So we can use this one, uh, yij from uh, response minus uh, grand mean here, press F4, and skirt. And 
for SSC, sum of square of error, y i j from response minus y i plus average, which means uh, treatments as average. Okay, so uh, there is treat treatment average here, so we can use VLOOKUP function to get a different average by dif uh, tr different treatment number. So uh, look a value here and comma uh, there is table right here press f4 and comma 2 because we need to choose second color so 2 and square all right so let's fill in ANOVA table here so total sum of square is sum of uh, each total sum of square part here and within group uh, which means uh, uh, SSE so sum of SSE here right for uh, between group sum of square is equal to total minus within group uh, in terms of degrees of freedom, total degrees of freedom is equal to number of observations, 24, uh, minus uh, y bar here. So there is one y bar, so minus one. Okay. And within group, uh, num uh, number of observations, 24, minus, there are four treatments, so minus four. Uh, between group, uh, we can use total minus within group degrees of freedom. Right. Uh, for mean square, we can get mean square from sum of square over degrees of freedom. Okay, and in order to get f value, uh, we can use mean square of between group and over within group uh, mean square. The main reason why we call this analysis is ANOVA uh, is we use. Uh, variance of between group and within group here um, p value we can use uh, 1 minus f dot dist and x value is equal to f comma first degrees of freedom from uh, between group and comma and second uh, degrees of freedom from within group here and comma and true because we need to use a cumulative value Right, p value is uh, less than 5%. So, as I explained, so uh, we can say that uh, this model uh, is statistically significant, which means that we can reject uh, neural hypothesis. Also, it means that at least one treatment average is different from others. For, okay, for critical, uh, f critical value, we can use f dot imv. Uh, probability is uh, 0 0.95 because uh, we use 5% significance level and comma uh, first degrees of freedom comma second degrees of freedom All right so also this f value is greater than uh, critical value so we can uh, reject neural hypothesis the interpretation is same as when I explained uh, p value so the, the last part is to fill in a uh, summary part. Uh, let's calculate uh, number of observations by group, sum, average, and variance. So we can use a uh, count if function to calculate number of observations. Count if. And here, press F4, and comma, and group. And sum, sum if function. Uh, range here and criteria comma and some range from response press F4 average can be calculated by sum over count which is same as uh, this one and variance uh, we can uh, think of uh, DEVSQ function 
Uh, also, we need to use dvsq function for group 2, 3, and 4. So let's use this uh, way devsq if uh, this value uh, equals this value let's say 4 comma we need to get this one press F4 okay. and over the minus 1 This is a variance uh, formula, but we, uh, in order to apply this formula for other cells, we need to use array uh, function. In this case, uh, please uh, press Control Shift Enter, Control Shift Enter. Right. So you can see uh, it it has been changed as uh, array formula. Just apply this one to other cells. Right. Cool. So that's it for today. So we have uh, reviewed how to calculate uh, ANOVA analysis for single factor uh, experiments in a completely randomized design by Excel, R, and manual computation. So I hope it was useful for you to clearly understand uh, how to calculate uh, ANOVA table and what it means. Please click like and subscribe it was, uh, if it was useful for you. Thank you.